Well, hello everyone, and here I am with my first LEGO Star Wars Technic review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the uh, Pit Droid and Bow Droid set from 2000. So, we'll start off with, with the box segment, which is just for Bow Pit Droid here. So, on the front of the box, you see LEGO te logo, Technic logo, Star Wars Episode 1, and picture of the set that comes within set number. Or, I mean, amount of piece has 217 pieces. Set number 8,000. And has and 8 and up, says Pit Droid. And also measured to 12 inches there. So, some interesting graphics, which they really don't do much anymore. And then here's to the back of the box. Like the transformation scene and all or uh, how you unfold it, and a nice little alternate build, which is kind of a speeder or something, speeder bike or something, and also little snippets from the movie, yeah, of course. And also for the booklet, same pictures on the front and everything, and then the alternate build for the speeder bike form, and in the middle of it is how to like fold it up, or fold them up. And then some and everything. And so for Super Battle Droid one, see a picture of the set, a picture of it, and also a couple of MTTs in the background. And on the back, add for the Destroyer Droid, which I will also be reviewing like next next Throwback Thursday. And then add for the Pit Droid, and then. How you arrange it with some odd color pieces. And then how to fold it in and everything. And then included with this droid is mini advertising catalog booklet, whatever. See, there's Millennia Throwback on the cover. And then Rebel Riders. And then some of the other earlier Throwback. And then the Star Wars 2000 Technic sets. And then some other Technic stuff. And then Mindstorms. And some more Mindstorms. And that. Also, we get this little leaflet, which also advertises most of the sets. Like the Pit Droid again. Then sign up for a Lego Club, which you can do online nowadays, and then Star Wars Mindstorms again. And so now, on to the first set of which the Pit Droid. Uh, kind of cool, which. So, a little common thing with these uh, Star Wars Technic sets is that they often use the uh, slicer or throwbot heads for the feet. But as you'll see on some other ones, they do have little visors on them. So this color scheme consisting of tan and green. Which, which I kind of get is, all, although on the films they, or in the film, they're just all like dark brown. I think maybe the green might have added, is there to give a nice punch to them. So as for the legs of which, same kind of piece as from the throwbots and all. And then, see this, those green gears of which, it's for the main feature of it, which you'll see in a bit. And then, do have the Robo Rider piece in, in tan on there. So which, nice addition to him. And as you see, have the Toamata Slicer robot ha arms, there, but in tan. Until which we'll see on Pohat 2 in the 01 Bonicle line. And as for the hands, of which do have movable thumb, but on the old style rubber bands. They have for his tools. We have a couple of rods here. And then. One may have various things here. But they also do come together in the alternate build. 
as he kind of tends to lean forward a bit. Although I would just put his arms back and ends up perfectly straight, like well balanced and all. But the head of which also uh, done all right, like these two pieces in green, which are a nice addition, good for mocking. But as for the little lens uh, nose thing, uh, which appears to be the same make deal as a roller rider wheel, but without any of the weird markings on them, just plain black plate with a glare print to it. And also a couple antennas, which the Baldroid one also has. And it's now onto the main feature, which can I put the arms up? And, and then that. And it's in a like horrible folded in position. And then and as Anakin says tap the nose to unfold it, and then tap in, and there you go. So it's kind of close to the film. And to get the uh, tools in the hands, open the thumb up and put them in. So firmly grasp it. And then next up is Battle Droid. It was also interesting, neat technique build. The same deal with the feet, but also. And legs kind of similar to that. But also, uh, you may notice that I do have the yellow rubber bands, because as the older rubber bands do it tend to break apart over time, so I end up using those as well. But kind of the way it goes sometimes. And well, for the main body of which, do have that gear piece there. And well, and you wonder what these little system bits are for? Is it's kind of for the fold up feature. But as the this arm, which is just on a a swivel joint, the swivel joint done on a pin connection, may have a couple of those slider pieces or robot pieces there. And fingers do kind of move in and out a bit. And then for the other arm, which is just stuck in a 90 degree position and has a gear function just like the first Tomamata sets do, do have. And for the blaster, which, which is held together by magnet pieces from the train sets. And you'll see that one. And get to the main feature in a bit. And the back of which does have that uh, throwback uh, shoulder piece, which we've seen on the granite throwback, also on the first Tomamata as well. And you have that gear point, kind of similar to theirs. And also a little holster for the blaster, which you'll see in a bit. And these antennas, kind of similar to that pit droids one. And the head of which I think uh, done all right. Like some more of those bits acting as eyes tonight. And also good use of the, these like tubing pieces acting as like uh, rebels to them. And now, as it shows in the instructions, that you can like swap out. Uh, uh, some of these areas with different colors, which I am not going to show in this video since got it used and didn't have them. But I can buy them separately on Bricklink if I wanted to. Oh wait, uh, hang on a sec. Also, what I forgot to mention in the instructions, it does have another alternate build, which is to that of an, an AT-ST walker, 
So maybe that was the first ATST walkthrough until around 2001. If anyone knows why there's, they have included different colored pieces in this, uh, to tell us in the comments. Actually, I, it's for to differentiate it as like commander droids and all. But anyways, on to the main feature of which, if you like fold these down, if you like fold these, these up, and fold them up, and put it down, and there it is in its folded up position. But sometimes it kind of comes a little loose. Oops. So if you like, press the little uh, knob in the back. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay, so just make sure that the gear, that the stopper thing is on the gear as well. And then tap it, and then folds out. Similar to as they do in the film. They that was the blaster from earlier. Hold it. And then pull the graphs at tow, which is a pretty cool feature uh, to them. And uh, if they like made this nowadays with the uh, CCBS system, then it would probably be an actual blaster, which and would expect that feature from it. But it's that's all right. And now on to with the final verdict on these two. Oh wait. So my overall verdict on these two sets, on these Star Wars Technic sets is, I think they of which are pretty cool sets for the time, like, even though Pit Droid may not be so color accurate, but it's forgiven, and Val Droid of which a pretty good rendition of it, its in-film appearance. But you get plenty of mockable pieces of which, and also a couple of nice alternate builds of which, like the speeder bike and AT-ST walker, and yeah. If you, if any of y'all still had these sets from back in the day, well, hope you had good memories of them, and uh, if you're looking to get some additional Technic pieces for your mocking, or construction mocking, then go ahead and find them on eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.